The operator then turns off the magnet switch, releasing the battery. The bridge lever joystick is moved slightly to move the magnet away from the battery. This gives the magnet room to rotate. The rotate switch is turned on and the bridge joystick is pulled to the left, turning the power face of the magnet clockwise 180 degrees. The magnet rotate switch is then turned off. The operator then holds the bottom rocker switch in the slide mode with his left hand. The bridge lever is then pulled to the left, moving the slide and the magnet to the empty compartment. For ease of operation, the magnet should be centered in the empty compartment. The slide switch is released and the bridge joystick is moved to the left. This moves the magnet inside the confines of the roller bed and protects the magnet from unnecessary damage. The operator then pushes the lift lower joystick forward to fully lower the vehicle. Using the travel joystick, the operator then aligns the empty compartment on the multi-shifter vehicle with the truck battery compartment. The operator holds the bottom rocker switch in the reach retract mode and moves the bridge joystick to the right. This moves the bridge to the right and positions the magnet to attach to the battery in the lift truck. The magnet rocker switch is turned on and the magnet is attached to the battery. The bridge joystick is then moved to the left. The magnet and bridge pull the battery out of the truck compartment. The operator stops the bridge when the battery is over the lead roller on the multi-shifter vehicle's roller bed. The roller bed is elevated with the lift lower joystick until the battery is tilted slightly uphill. The bridge is then moved to the left until the spent battery is centered on the roller bed. The operator then turns the magnet off and moves the bridge slightly to the left, detaching the magnet from the battery. The slide switch is held down and the bridge joystick is moved to the left, positioning the slide between the two batteries. The slide switch is released and the bridge joystick is moved slightly to the right, bringing the magnet inside the confines of the roller bed and behind the charged battery. The operator then uses the lift lower joystick to fully lower the roller bed. Using the travel joystick, the operator aligns the fresh battery with the empty truck compartment. He then uses the lift lower joystick to raise the vehicle roller bed slightly above the level of the lift truck battery compartment. The operator then moves the bridge to the right to push the fresh battery into the lift truck. Again, the operator stops the bridge when the battery is over the lead roller in the truck battery compartment. The vehicle roller bed is lowered slightly using the lift lower joystick, so the path of the battery into the truck is slightly uphill. The bridge is then moved to the right to push the freshly charged battery into the truck. The magnet reach retract switch is held down and the bridge joystick is pulled to the right, pushing the battery fully into the truck compartment. The operator then moves the bridge to the left bringing the magnet within the confines of the roller bed. The magnet rotate switch is turned on and the bridge joystick is moved to the right. This turns the power face of the magnet 180 degrees and prepares the magnet to push the spent battery into the rack. The operator then uses the travel joystick to align the spent battery on the roller bed with the appropriate storage slot. Moving the bridge to the left, the operator pushes the battery into the storage slot. The magnet reach retract switch is turned on and the battery is fully pushed into the stand. The operator then uses the travel joystick to position the multi-shifter vehicle so the battery safety gates can be raised and the battery can be connected to the charger. The multi-shifter vehicle is now ready to make the next battery exchange. The key switch is turned off prior to the operator departing. In addition to the proper operating procedures that we've shown, there are several items relating to safety that should be addressed on a regular basis. Number one, only trained, authorized personnel are to operate the multi-shifter vehicle. Number two, keep hands and feet within the confines of the vehicle at all times. Number three, make sure the entire area is clear before attempting any vehicle operation. Number four, 
The action of bringing batteries over the first roller of the vehicle roller bed and then raising the bed, tilting the battery slightly uphill, produces quick, accurate changes. It also prevents the batteries from banging into the vehicle rollers due to misalignment. This misalignment wastes time and can put extra wear and tear on the lead rollers. This is the most important technique to remember and master when changing batteries. Number five, always travel with the magnet assembly within the confines of the vehicle. Number six, prior to the operation of the vehicle, check for proper operations of all safety features such as Deadman pedal, limit switches, etc. Number seven, prior to operation of the vehicle, check for proper operation of all mechanical functions and safety features such as hydraulic controls and safety covers. Number eight, only the trained operator should be on board the vehicle at any given time. No riders are ever allowed. Number nine, if any component on the vehicle appears to not be in working order, do not operate the vehicle. Immediately notify the proper personnel so that all necessary repairs can be made. Number 10. Instill a regular scheduled maintenance program on the vehicle to ensure proper vehicle operation and reliability. Following the prescribed operational steps outlined in the program, plus implementation of adequate safety training will ensure that maximum productivity is achieved with the use of this multi-shifter system. It is imperative that the operators become proficient with this system through education and practice. Maintaining a proper level of training and maintenance will also ensure that the multi-shifter system provides these benefits well into the future.